There she is, boys. So it's time for a new bump bump head right here for my trimmer. For those of you newbies that don't know, if you look real close, there's a hole right there. So when this starts wearing down, I mean, you can see how low it is too compared to a new one, which I don't have yet to compare, but it's like twice the height. But the main thing is when you start to see this hole here start to appear, it means it's ready to be changed. And obviously if you just keep going with it until this hole completely forms and all these notches wear out and all this shows up, then it's not, you know, you bang this thing on the ground all day long and it's never going to advance because it's not going to push down far enough um, to, to be able to advance the trimmer line. So I don't know. It's not something that anyone ever told me I had to learn on my own, but there's this little, this little warning here, this hole, this hole does not show on a brand new one. It only shows when it starts to wear out. That means it's time to change it. So I just got contacted by another potential customer. Um, you know, when I when I meet with all my potential customers, whenever I go to give an estimate or a quote, I always ask them how did they hear about me if they didn't already tell me in the phone call or the email or Facebook message or however they contacted me. Um, if they don't tell me how, like hi so and so, you know, referred you or I got your information from so and so or whatever then I ask them personally just because I want to you know know and keep track of what's working and what's not even though I'm not doing any any type of marketing efforts you know like aggressively um, but there's still stuff out there like you know my, my uniform um, my business cards that I hand out to different people and neighbors and I always give extra whenever someone asks me for a business card or I'm giving a business card I give more than one and say here you go here's for your friends and neighbors if they need anything you know it's just some best practices like that then there's my Facebook page obviously and I'm always posting things on not always actually let me rephrase that I'm regularly posting things on my Facebook page and keeping it current um, so there's always attention coming from that so I just always want to know what's going on that's probably the one thing that I do focus on is Facebook I mean I don't you know I haven't spent any money on new new marketing other than just buying new business cards when I run out you know that that's it and Facebook is free so I'm not spending any money on that but I do spend time on that versus anything else but so everyone gives different responses as to why they you know how they got a hold of me or whatever but this this one customer said and this has happened before this isn't the first time I just never really say anything about it too much but they see me in the neighborhood every week and their wife was driving by one day and want, wanted to get my information and they saw my magnet on the side of my truck and that's how they contacted me based off that magnet they google searched my business name and my facebook page came up just as good as a website in that situation you know obviously it's not the same as a website and i can't capture their information on my facebook page like a website can and all that you know Put entering in info for free estimate all that kind of stuff but they they contacted me just the same you know they went and they saw you know Facebook is getting really good the business page at making it look almost like a web page yeah they control the analytics and you know the algorithms of who sees what and how many and all that stuff so obviously that's not a replacement for a, a website but it's definitely a good start and it's definitely a good addition to a website so when people go to your Facebook page, you know, there's a lot of information on there and a lot of things they can click on, ways to contact you, and you can set it up specifically the way you want. Do you want the call to action button to be an email, um, to go to your website, or um, to, to message you through Facebook, or whatever it is. So, you know, he then, so her husband then messaged me over the weekend through my Facebook page and we went back and forth and said, I said, I'll, I can meet with you on Tuesday. That's when I'm starting back up work after the holiday. And that was it so I met with him but you know so he told me that it was that his wife saw my magnet and now let me just show you my magnet that's it there's no phone number on there no email there's no nothing on there not anymore there used to be I used to have phone numbers and emails and a Facebook page and everything on my magnets 
but I don't do that anymore because one, I changed my number to a local number, so I want I don't want to be advertising my old number anymore. I want people to contact me through my new number. Um, and you know, I just thought it also just looked tacky and it was starting to fade. You know, the numbers were starting to fade off and I was coloring them in with a Sharpie and it just wasn't looking professional. And I'm all for being professional as you guys probably already know. But this magnet here, it looks pretty professional to me. That's all I have to say. It looks pretty professional. It's got my business logo. It's the same thing on my shirt. It's the same thing on my business cards, my Facebook page, everywhere. You see the same logo. That's called branding. So whether it's gigantic on my truck or not, it's still branding my logo. And that customer was able to Google my business name. And because it's in this area, my Facebook page came up immediately. It was at the top of the list. So I'm just saying, you know, I still want to get my truck wrapped and um, I, I definitely see the benefits of that and I will eventually get that, but it's not necessary right now. I'm, I'm getting customers looking at my magnet and they're contacting me through that because they see my business name. It's my legitimate business logo and everything. It's not, you know, some, uh, you know, that little mower or whatever that everybody has. That's like some standard template. This is a specific custom logo for my business that you see everywhere so that probably will separate you right there if you just have that generic magnet you know you have a blue truck and you have this funky white or yellow magnet with a lawn mow cartoon lawn mower on it or something you know whatever the silhouettes of the same stuff that you see all over the country then you're going to not look as professional in my opinion and that I understand that magnet's not doing you any good um, but in my situation I got a white truck a white magnet my logo it's no different than if I got that lettered on the door of my truck no different other than I can take that magnet off if I wanted to which I never do other than going through the car wash so what is the difference and that ma and that magnet probably save is like half the price as getting that lettered onto you know decaled onto my truck on both sides you know so, and I just have the one magnet. I don't even have it on the passenger side because I always park with my driver's side facing out on purpose. I mean, that's just a common way to park anyway for us, right? But it's also, I'm conscious of that. Even if, it, even if there's something funky going on, I still try and make sure that I'm always facing with that door out on the street so people walking by can see it and stuff and driving by and so on. So that's just my thing. I've been wanting to say something about this for a while. I believe in truck wraps but I also believe in truck magnets when you're starting out and you don't have the money to invest and when you do it the right way because like I said that looks just like just like lettered unless you look at it closely and you see the line around oh that's actually a magnet on there it's not you know just let it decaled on the door so but you know everyone says a lot of bad things about magnets and I get it I understand why because those are the non-professional looking magnets um, but I just don't really say much, but I just wanted to prove this point that when you're starting out, a magnet is better than nothing. Because if I had nothing on my truck, there would have been no way for them to contact me. And they just moved in, in this, the same neighborhood I'm already in, this new neighborhood with these big houses, high-end neighborhoods, big yards in most cases, a lot more money that I can make, and so on. And I want to grow in that neighborhood, but they don't know anyone. So it might have taken till next season for them to get to know people and say, hey, who's your lawn guy? Or just come up in conversation and then they contact me. And by then they might already have someone else that they're happy with or whatever. Bottom line is I, I would be missing out on business where I could start today mowing their, lawn, mowing their lawn if that's the way it went because they contacted me over the weekend because they had my magnet on my door. So all the people driving around with nothing on their truck, I don't get it and all the people with the magnets with the cartoon mower on it i don't get it you know it doesn't cost you anything to find a a, a better graphic image or logo or something yeah it costs money to get your logo designed but you can just make some fancy little thing on word you know um or some sort of 
program that comes custom with whatever computer system you have and you can make your own funky fonts or whatever and make your own logo by putting in your business name and making it look such a way and just put that upload that on a website you know like overnightprints.com or vistaprint.com or, or whatever any other ones out there that that have truck magnets and business cards and and you can just do that to get a magnet and it's going to look a lot more professional than, than some generic mower that everyone else in town has because they got the cheapest of the cheapest of the cheapest spend a little bit of extra money and get a nice looking magnet and you're still going to save a ton of money than going out and getting your truck wrapped so but getting your truck wrapped or at least lettered is the natural evolution in your business if you're looking to grow as I am so that is my natural evolution that is what I'm going to do but I think steps are necessary and they definitely come in handy and you learn a lot through those steps whether they be short steps short-lived small steps or long big steps that take a while for you to get to the top of the steps before you can move on to the next you know open the next door and go on the next opportunity whatever the timing is that's up to you that's that's up to how long it takes how long you need to come to that next point in your life so um, you know I'm happy that I'm going through these steps sometimes I'm impatient I want to rush things along but I know that there's a reason for everything and I just need to work through it and then later on I'm like oh man see if I had done this then then I would have you know been kicking myself you know or I wouldn't have been able to do this or that or wow it really worked out that I had to wait a year for this or that or a couple months or a couple weeks or whatever so just think about that and know that truck magnets are not bad they're just not the best, but they are still functional when you do them right and when they look professional. to no business like mo business.com check out the podcasts that I've been on I've been on two podcasts um, Derek from country crafts he's the one that's been doing these podcasts with Brian from top-notch lawns so it's pretty good pretty cool pretty good stuff I have a lot of good guests on there um, John Ryan uh, Martin from mowing and growing aka Motown a um, bunch of other great people Brian ring from ring lawn care um, and he's always putting more people on there. So go ahead and check it out. The link is in the description. Again, it's no business like mo business. Good stuff. We're just talking about our business and just funny stuff in general and life. And it's a good time. Check it out.